Hey guys, I want to do a uh, quick video. Um, I know some of you have been waiting to see the peppers and the rail system I built. Um, this is going to be a quick video because everything I want to cover and show you guys how I build it and what's uh, involved in it and what's going on with each section would be way too much to put into one video. So I'm going to do a quick overview video so everyone could kind of get a look and then I'm going to break it down into a series of videos over the next you know, week, two weeks, three weeks, month, whatever. But uh, quickly, uh, here we are. We got six rails, um, basic uh, five by five fence posts. Uh, there's 39 pepper plants in here, 39 sites. Uh, each pepper plant has a foot in every direction, staggered. So basically, you know, this pepper plant has a foot to the next plant, which those will fill up like a jungle in there, believe me. Uh, 13 varieties. Right here, I got three. There's three of each. I have uh, Anaheim chilies, I have uh, uh, jalapenos, these uh, short stocky guys here, Zavery uh, hot uh, habaneros, uh, this one, that one, and that one going that way are uh, Italian Marconi peppers. Uh, right here I have three poblanos, and if you remember I had one pobl two poblanos that didn't take, two seed pods, one out of the three did. That's the one, and those are the two that I later did, so that's why they're much smaller. Um, right here I have three Cubanellas. Beside the Cubanella peppers, I have three uh, what are called Bananaramas. They're uh, about eight inch long uh, sweet banana peppers. Uh, after the Cubanellas, right down here, let's scoot around this way, right down this rail, I have three Big Dippers, which are uh, Big Green Bells. Uh, beyond the Marconi there, right in this area, I have uh, three, oh, what, now that one's just slipped my mind, three, uh, oh, those are uh, Godfather Hybrid. They're like an Italian Marconi pepper type. Uh, right here I have three Bush Bell, which are uh, red and green, uh, nice long bell peppers, and if you actually look right in there, I got one little pepper already. Uh, beyond that, uh, down there, beyond these bells, I have a long pepper mix right in this area, which is the, uh, like, uh, red and green long pepper, kind of similar to, like, a banana. Uh, on this end, I have a sweet pepper mix, which, you know, could be ivory, uh, purple, chocolate, red, so we'll see what those come out. I got another Marconi right there, that, uh, Italian pepper. And on the end there, I got them three down there, it's called a Tangerine Dream which is like a one inch, two inch little uh, tangerine sweet pepper. Tons of them, supposed to produce a lot, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, these peppers um, have just got their uh, new light recently. I have uh, the lighting system real quickly. There's an adjust -a wing, large wing. Goes up to a uh, uh, two-way ballast up there, 1,000 watt. It is switchable from metal halide to high pressure sodium. Right now I'm running a thousand watt uh, metal halide, trying to do some veg here. And then I'll switch it over to a high pressure uh, sodium bulb. Um, the wing is, whoop, listen up here. See if you can hear this. The system just kicked on. It's running on a 30 minute on, 30 minute off timer, the uh, pump system. Um, the roots are growing great. I will show you the roots uh, eventually here. Uh, the peppers are doing great. I got a lot of little uh, buds developing. So, so far, so good. Um, I'm gonna move down around the outside here. Uh, for those that don't know, what you're looking at there is called Poly Shield uh, Sheeting Underlayment. Got it at Lowe's. It's a three quarter inch styrofoam. It was like $10 a sheet. Uh, you can see it over there, but it's already got like a built-in uh, mylar reflective surface. Works great for bouncing your light around. Okay, on the outside here, uh, don't mind my mess, I got a few items here going on, but I have two 27-gallon uh, uh, super boxes. Those are the reservoirs. Uh, the reservoirs actually are holding 42 gallons of uh, nutrient solution. How I know that, I'll tell you in a little bit. I have uh, four large air stones that run across these lines and go in that uh, power it. The two reservoirs are connected 
as you can see down in there, waterproof fitting. Um, on the top of the reservoir, on each side, we have a drain. The drain comes down from each rail, drains in, and right into here. And actually, let's see if I can get this up. No. The system is running. You can see the rails are draining right now because the system is running right now. Uh, this here is just a pipe that I can turn on a valve right here. Basically, when I do my new changes and change outs, I can shut down the rails because each rail is individually controlled by a valve. I can shut down the rails and just circulate, just recirculate the uh, reservoirs, which mixes the nutrient solution real nice. So I can circulate. That's all this is for is basically recirculation. Um, so as I mentioned, those are pretty much inside here. I do have a auto, a, uh, auto float top off valve. You can see it there. It comes down. The piping is covered with black because I didn't want no algae growing in the clear line that's there. Uh, it does go over to a flow master um, filter. Uh, tells me how much water I've moved through the system. That's how I know when I filled these uh, reservoirs that it was exactly 42 gallons that I have in there to the top of the float valve where I have it set. And as of right now, the system has used, let's say, 66 gallons I've ran through. And the system is set for 3,000 gallons. So at 3,000 gallons, that alarm will go off and let me know that it's ran 3,000 gallons through. And everyone says, wow, why would you want to know about 3,000 gallons? Because I have a Hydro Farm filtering system that runs directly over from the tap. Uh, to filter so this does auto top itself off as the plants use uh, water or the nutrient solution it does top itself off um, I also have an outlet here when I want to do my deep water so I can get uh, chlorine free water you know right off of it uh, so the maintenance on this is incredibly easy um, I love the system it was a lot more money to build it like this but I do love it uh, drain valve right here runs over to the pump right over there as you can see so what I do is shut the rails off when it's time to change out the newts turn that valve that valve automatically pumps over to the mop sink comes right up there and drains into the mop sink there's the tie-in under there you can see the tie-in for the top off system it ties right into the water line uh, with this much water and fluid uh, it's it, well I should say with this many plants going I, I wouldn't want to have to top this thing off all the time especially once these plants get big because I could see how much fluid these things uh, already use just uh, the two I have inside my other peppers go through that five gallon bucket so fast I could imagine um, and one thing I have noticed real quickly on the maintenance the pH is way easier to uh, maintain in the larger reservoirs. I check it every couple days and it barely fluctuates by 0.1. Um, I did uh, get a pH meter, so uh, that was real nice to use. Uh, this time going around, there it is, Organic Pure Blend Pro by Botanicare. Uh, that's all I'm using. It's the Bloom formula. I didn't start them on Grow. A lot of guys have used uh, just Bloom on their peppers and their tomatoes, so I said, well, let's give it a shot. And so far, it's been pretty good. I'm getting ready to up the uh, solution. Right now, I'm running it kind of weak because they were new in, you know, and they were a little hurt. But uh, it's almost been a month since I've done the nutrient change. Now that the peppers are definitely getting larger, the plants, uh, I definitely am going to start up in this uh, nutrients. Uh, you can see here on this plant, it's one leaf. Um, you know, the plants are looking real well, real nice. I'm real pleased with the system. Uh, that was basically the, the whole system. As you can see, these are some of the buckets from my cucumbers and herb garden that I used to have. So I do got some storage going on under here. Um, but basically, it's a real... Oh, one other thing, the airline, the black airline. You see it running here. It runs right over there to my uh, pump, commercial air three pump. That thing puts out a ton of air. So, um, 
that I actually have a uh, diffuser or, or splitter down there. You can see it right there. I actually have two blocked off because I'm only running four. I'm going to connect some new, I'm going to make a new rail system for possibly some herbs or uh, some along that line, lettuces. So I, I do have the expansion right there ready. Uh, the pump is a quiet one pump. I think it's a 3000 is the model number. As you can see, I have it uh, unioned. I have a lot of the plumbing unioned. And the reason for that is I wanted this system to break down very easily. So I have a lot of the plumbing unioned. I'll get into more of that. The system totally breaks down super fast, super easy. I'll show you my idea that I'm going to do right there with them connections for plant supports. Uh, I'm really excited to show you guys in-depth videos of certain sections. Uh, for right now, I'll just give you a quick little peek right off of this rail. I think the system is running. And then I'm going to shut this video down after this because it's already getting long, I can see. I'll give you a quick peek into this rail. You can see in there, the sprinkler's running. As you can see, I had to change the design a little bit. You can see the root growth all the way down the rail. See if you can see the mother heads further down. Uh, and that's what I like about this system is I have complete access. I designed these uh, little gaskets. I designed this T-piece, which I don't know if you could, you could see the indention there. Works absolutely fantastic for making this system watertight. Um, on the other end, see I just slides on there onto that nylon uh, bolt. Put a nylon wing nut right down the center, which gives equal... Ooh, I think I got a little fog or something on the lens there. Gets equal pressure. Tighten it down. And there you have it. Watertight. And the other end is the same way is that sorry guys the lens is like trying to adjust there we go the uh, other end is the same way as that except the only difference is there's the pipe penetrations which those come right out easily and the same thing this end I wish I could lift one of these out to show you but the root masses are already getting large this end uh, fills up nicely drains and easily by switching out this piece right here because I have it drilled this could also become a deep water culture with about half of it full of water. But I don't think I'm going to need to do that. So, well, we'll see how it goes. But it is very versatile. So the system would be easy to clean up, quickly broke down. Um, hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Uh, once again, I will be uh, posting soon on uh, urbanhydro.org. Uh, thanks to Zach and the Urban Hydro uh, Growers Union for inviting me over there to be a contributor with my gardens. I, uh, I'm really excited about that. I'll be doing my first video soon. So if you get a chance, go over to urbanhydro.org and check it out. Uh, thanks to all my new subscribers. Uh, look for a lot more videos, guys. We're going to be blowing them out here real soon. I've been very busy doing things, as you can tell. Got a lot of gardens going, a lot of things going. So uh, look for new videos. Please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, if you get a chance, go over to a couple friends of mine that do a great job with their gardens, and uh, that's Gary's Gardens. He's also on YouTube, and also shoot over to Slee Stacks Rules and check out his gardens. He's doing a lot of stuff, uh, hydro, indoor and out, both of them. They will be doing a lot more raised uh, bed gardens uh, this year than me. I'm pretty much not going to do raised bed. I'm going to do all hydro. So uh, look for some uh, new stuff, and I'll see you guys real soon with some new videos. Thanks for watching, guys.